good morning, good morning, guys, and a welcome, welcome in to the show. We are just getting our day started. Our 10 hour break is finally over with. And uh, because they have so many warehouses up here at this customer, I am supposed to go to a different warehouse, so I gotta try and uh, find my way up there. I'm not sure exactly how we're supposed to do it. From the way I understood, it's uh, supposed to go up there to the stop sign and make a left and go around. I'm supposed to go way over there on the other side of the highway there. So uh, I guess I guess that's what we're gotta do. That's what we gotta do. Second Street. Yeah, I guess this is just like a one-way street. I guess. Oh no, this is not even the street here. Okay, so I gotta go up there. Okay, that's why. Okay, this is just the exit. So I gotta come up here, get out, make a left, and then I gotta go up there, go back to the main road, and then uh, go to that warehouse over there. Yeah, it kinda sucks because uh, had it been at this warehouse, I could have just kept it under five miles an hour and I could have put it in the dock and they could have me offloaded by now, but no, it's gotta be at the other warehouse. Well, I didn't want to drive five miles an hour down this road, right? And then turn left 570 feet. I said, all right, well then I'm gonna have to take another 45 minutes off before I can even uh, even uh, attempt to drive there, right? So uh, right on industrial drive, and then turn that's left exactly in what we did feet. now. So uh, I gotta go around over there somewhere. I gotta try and see if I'm at the right place. So all right, guys, I'll go ahead and get out of here. I'll be back in a few, guys. Here we go, guys. We just finished getting offloaded. Now it's time to hammer down and get on down the road to our reload location. Yeah, we have a, about a three hour drive, I want to say, to try and get there. Got 171 miles to go. Speed limit reduced to so we, uh, Speed warning. we got our work cut out for us, that's for sure. Yeah, it took a little, took a, about an hour to get offloaded over here, I guess you could say. Alright, we got to slow right down US to 25. Alright, here we go. I don't know why we got to go 25 this last little stretch, but hey, I guess it's because there's a couple of houses here and it could be kids, right? Could be kids in around the area running around. Certainly don't want to get them run over, right? In 400 that would not be good. US 60. But yeah, we have finally made empty. So it says uh, I should be at my customer at uh, 134. That's what RJ says. So uh, we have to be there no later than 2 o'clock in the afternoon. That's what our load offer well says. For 156 miles. So we're going to have to hammer down and uh, don't waste too much time anywhere. Otherwise we may not get loaded today. And uh, the thing is tomorrow is Thanksgiving here in the U.S. So uh, it would be pretty hard for me to get a load anywhere tomorrow, I think. That's what I think. But whatever, we'll hammer down and uh, see if we can get our uh, reload on here today and then uh, go far enough is my plan to make it home tomorrow night. That's kind of my idea. And then that way I could, uh, could possibly go out on Saturday again, right? And hopefully I can get me a good run on Saturday again. Start getting some better miles in again, hopefully. Coming into Kansas City, Missouri right now as we speak, guys. And I think up here I gotta stay in the right lanes here. In a quarter to stay mile. on the, uh, the right on I-435 North. Yeah, 435 North. That's what my GPS is telling me, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try and stay on that. 
We're actually only about 15 miles away from getting to our customer, so uh, still haven't stopped, still haven't uh, gone anywhere to uh, have me a bite to eat. And because I said the word STOP, it quit recording on me. <laughs> oh well, anyways, so I still haven't ate anywhere, anything yet. I was thinking about it and I said, nah, I'm going to be at this customer for a while, I know that already. So I may as well just uh, go down here, back into the dock, and fire up my grill, or little stove, or whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to cook me a stew. I think that's what we're going to do. Haven't done that in a while either. I need to get back on the habit of doing that. You know, since especially now I spent a little bit of money getting the phone and all that fun stuff. It, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to eat a little tighter here for the next little while, that's for sure. But in the meanwhile, let's get down over to the customer and hopefully uh, get our load on. As I was trying to say, is I was talking to a buddy of mine, he was there yesterday and uh, said it took him four and a half hours to get loaded over there and that's been my experience over there too. So uh, I should have plenty of time to cook me a stew and uh, have me a good lunch, I guess I could say. And I do need me a shower too. I really do. I'm gonna try and see if I can park somewhere tonight and get me a shower done. That would be really, really nice, but would also be nice if it wouldn't take him four and a half hours to get me loaded. If that was the case, if it took less than that, I could at least get a, a little bit further down the road and that would give me a chance to make it home tomorrow night, but we'll see, we'll see. We'll keep our fingers crossed and We'll see what happens. All right, guys, you guys can see we are backed into the dock, and this is the customer we are not allowed to be in the truck. So, fortunately, I can't cook me a meal. So, guess what? I'm gonna do I'm gonna go for a little bit of a walk and see if I can't find me something to eat. I'm starving, I haven't eaten anything since yesterday morning, didn't even have anything for supper last night or anything like that. So Let's go see what we can find guys. Let's go for a little walk. All right guys, it is time for some good lunch. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness, we got some nice chicken, some vegetables. I know there's a little bit of potato in there, but hey, sometimes you gotta have that little starch, right? We got a cup of coffee, a glass of water. So we're doing it healthy as much as we can, right? Anyways, let's go ahead and have a bite to eat because I'm starving. Yeah, guys, it only took two hours to get loaded over here today. I am super, super excited because that means currently I have seven hours and 14 minutes remaining on my 14. So that means I can hammer down a good while yet, good waste. I need at least another four, four and a half hours worth of driving, I would say. Oh, well, yeah, I would say four and a half hours about that for me to be able to uh, make it back to the yard tomorrow night. So that's perfect. I can hammer down and just take my minimum ha a 10 hour break and uh, get on down the road as we like to call it. And I am sweating a little bit because the temperature is a little bit warm up here. And so. Uh, I am sweating a little bit because of that. Yeah, I know this is a bit of a weird turn up here, but... And the reason why I'm actually sweating is I had to strap that load, right? So let's get into that hot trailer. And it is actually fairly warm up here, it really is. But yeah, I actually walked down up here to the Denny's. You guys see the Denny's up here to the right? I did not tell you guys where I actually went to and that is exactly where I went to. So, uh, yeah. And this is a little bit of a weird uh, setup over here. Usually you would go straight, right? Well, no, they got this set up here. You got to crisscross the highways up here a little bit. But anyways, that's how it goes. So, 
Let's get back on the interstate and hammer down on home sweet home. Looks like the Smoky Bear has got himself a capture and everybody is slamming on their brakes. Slowing right down to like 30 miles an hour. I guess it's okay, but you know, why all slam on your brakes just because we got a Smoky Bear up here? Yeah, looks like he captured himself a Ford Mustang up here today. That's what it looks like. Oh well. Looks like the sun is trying to go down over there for uh, from us. I know it's already quarter after four in the afternoon, but... Yeah, the sun certainly does not stay up very long anymore, that's for sure. But anyways, we got a long ways to go yet. I got 780 miles to go until I get home sweet home. That's a long ways yet. Not really. <laughs> not for us truck drivers anyways, but I'm going to try and be home tomorrow night. That's kind of the plan. So in order for me to do that, I'm going to have to do probably another 110 miles today for sure. Which that should be doable. It should be no problem. I guess I'm going to move her over because I just saw some uh, ripped up tires and it looks like that vehicle up ahead of us there had lost a tire, blown up a tire or something. Probably holding this bobcat onto uh, on a too small of a trailer. Most likely it looks like it just barely fits on that trailer. Yeah, but at least it's nice and warm down here compared to what it was in Manitoba. Now I know it's supposed to be warming up here the next little bit, but we'll see. Right now it's plus 16 degrees. That's really nice. I have now made it up to Sioux City, Iowa, guys. Made it up to this Love's up here, Love's truck stop up here in Sioux City. And uh, I guess because tomorrow is that holiday, that Thanksgiving here in the United States, uh, everybody, uh, or not everybody, but a lot of truck drivers are taking the day off, right? So uh, there is plenty of parking spot I got front row, believe it or not. I really did, and guess what? We got ourselves a very, very much needed shower. I've been waiting for that for a couple of days now, and we finally got it. Yes, indeed we did. So, uh, I guess uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close off today's show here by saying uh, it was a much better day today than it was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I made it far enough to where I can actually make it home tomorrow. So that part is really awesome, really awesome. So that way I can uh, do a quick reset and uh, should be able to leave on Saturday again. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a great day and stay safe out there.